guys all right so we're going to do the code reading first and we're going to let this read and see what it comes up with uh code it's a good Innova one i got from advanced auto parts it's only 29 dollars so um i'm gonna let it do its thing and see what pops up all right so i have code it was two of them uh po 110 and PO100. Okay, so the 110 is the uh, airflow uh, temperature sensor, and then the 100 is the mass uh, airflow sensor. So those are the codes that I'm currently running uh, in the car. So what we're gonna have to do next. All right, so I went out and got a eBay uh, Bosch one um, mass airflow sensor. That did not work, had to turn around and get it back after two and a half weeks of this whole process. I actually went on Advanced Auto Parts and they had a Bosch factory unit. It's actually, if you guys can kind of see it, it's sealed with the approved seal uh, it's in the box. So let's go ahead and open that up because I strongly recommend getting this. They are expensive. They're around $200 uh, for the unit, but it works the best. Uh, it's what the car was engineered for and they use uh, materials and things like that that can actually function way better than anything you would possibly find online for $25, $60, uh, stuff like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and open up this box up and uh, let's see what the part is. And the inside here is the paper off. All right. Yeah, this one is kind of fresh looking. It has some uh, stickers on here. Um, is the part number, and I guess this is theirs directly. Um, you have the Mercedes Benz original one. It would have the Mercedes Benz number right here, and then on top, it would actually have that number um, to let you know that it's from Mercedes Benz, and then from them. So here is the brand new unit comes with uh, these caps on the front. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so here's your arrow where it's supposed to go, you know, flow down. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and put on, put that back on the bottom. I gotta keep checking the video. So make sure you guys can see. Sorry if it's kind of windy out. Um, it's a windy, almost winter day. So, gotta put this on. Okay, so these don't have the. Okay, so I guess you see where the. On this one, um, it may be kind of windy, but you see we have that. Make sure you save onto these clips. Uh, when you put the clips on, it's pretty simple. You just kind of push it together, and it uh, clicks in. All right, so when I get it clicked in, uh, remember, like I said, this has the uh, intake breather hose right here on that side. So let me go ahead and click this in and we'll do the installation. All right, so I hope you guys can see this and I do apologize, it is super windy out today. Um, so this is pretty much how you would put it in. If you can see right here is the plug to uh, plug it up inside. Here is your uh, gasket and then the clip that's gonna hold that little piece on. And then, if you can see, this part is gonna hold the hose right here on to your thing. Then you're gonna have your like little clips. There's one here and here. Everything's gonna like make a nice snap uh, onto the unit. So, let's see if I can pan you around a little bit more. It's gonna be kinda hard to see, but I'm trying my best to film. Alright, let's see here. Uh, get it down. Hose over. It's gonna give you a little bit of resistance trying to go, but push it down. It's pretty easy. Get it around the clips here. Okay. Oh. 
right? So there you have it all the way in. But now we can come over, back over here to this side. Hope you guys can see that. Then you're gonna take the plug. I know it's windy. And plug that back in. There you have it. That's actually a pretty simple job um, to do that. Then you're gonna, of course, what you're gonna have to do next is put this back over. The easiest job ever. <laughs> they made that fun to do. See how it kind of covers that up a little bit right there. Um, Make sure you put some new hoses. I mean, I'm not sorry, new hoses. Uh, make sure you put new filters in there. You see in my other video with the Service B. Throw your... Uh, oops, hope you guys can see that still. All right, throwing these back on, which is simple. That's one, two, three. Clips are back on. All right, and then we have... Last thing. Okay. Hope that make you guys too dizzy doing that. Put the clips in here. Unfortunately, one of my clips have broke on the side, so usually doesn't go in correctly all the way. All right, that's as far as it. Okay, so that's it. Okay, done. I think it's gonna reread again. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this. Kind of reflection. Okay, it's reading again. Last Zero time it came back up. Codes detected. Um, I don't know exactly what. It took a little while. I let it run for about 15 minutes. Um, and then I actually did a transmission reset. You know, where you press down the uh, gas pedal for a few seconds with the, just the ignition on, but not engine running. Um, and then let it sit for two minutes. Um, and then hook this back up again. Just trying anything because, you know, there's really not a lot of information on how to do this. But uh, after I did that, let it sit, turn it back on again, uh, and ran the codes. Everything is now clear again.